a drawer merchant named Merlinus now joins Hector's group. With Merlinus in tow, Hector sets out for Laos in the following day. Laos is located in the heart of Lycia, territory ruled by the power-hungry Marcus of Laos, Lord Darin, according to Lila, who is going to soon die. Darin was involved in the disappearance of another guy who's soon going to die, so let's uncover the truth. This is Pomo, bringing you part uh, 8, or maybe 9, because I, I don't remember of my Fire Emblem 7 Hector Normal Mode Blind Iron Man. Oh yeah, Eric. Moment I was like, oh, who, who, the, who the fuck are you? Eric. Eric, that's Eric. Uh, yeah, a spooky guy, big nose general. That's actually really hard to kill in Dragon's Gate. And... Okay, yeah, this is the same. This is the same. I I know maybe I should be paying more attention to the story, but this guy was already pretty... He was much more involved with, with Uther than he was with Albert. Like, his main ambition was about taking down Uther because he wants to be the biggest guy in, in Lycia. And... That's currently Ostia, so... Hey, can you succeed? That club the Ligoth and I studied together. He's a trusted fool. And when he does lower his guard, we will strike. Oh, oh, I know the map. Oh, no. This map has... Yeah, this is the map that could be good, because it's an F6 map, and F6 is great. Better than F7. Much better than F7, but... This map gets the nice addition of rain. Marcus Laos is scheming. I have no love for war. I do like Elibuth. He's a softie, and I, I think I'm starting to enjoy Hector more than Elibuth. But I still think Elibuth has. Well, the thing is, people will tell you, like, I see where Roy takes things from. Yeah, that's from a like logical point of view, you know, because Elibuth is Roy's father. But from the writing point of view, Elibuth was created after Roy, so Elibuth is modeled after Roy. So everything that I see good in Elibuth is actually a reflection of things I like in Roy. Just, just to make it clear, this this game's story. <laughs> now the maps. Some of the maps can be really entertaining. They actually... They are actually much more similar to, you know, rom hack style, very methodical, very easy to... to think around maps. Now this place with a lot of great things. Ideal for hiding soldiers. Yeah. Very good, let's split up and double our ground. One more thing, my lord. Don't let yourself be distracted. Yes, mother. Okay, I think that was a different conversation. I don't remember that conversation happening in in Elevate Moon. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have always despised you. That's the long run special. Yeah, that's that's a good idea, Eric. That's exactly what I, you want to do with basically anyone. The problem here is an actor, by the way. The problem is that Marcus is just right there. And you think you can defeat Marcus? Uh, what? Oh, this is Hannah. Right, yeah. World of trouble, you should get out of here. Uh, yeah. Hannah the Fortune Teller. You can see other things. I can tell you what weapons to take into battle. As well as who should wield them. Things of that nature. What? Oh, yeah. She's just... Hannah is battle preparations, I think. And she has fortune. Okay. 
So we can for the first time in this Iron Man check the map. We have some Iron Lances, Iron Swords, a Silver Lance, that's definitely different. He dropped a Horse Slayer on, on Elibuth Move. And there are a lot of vulnerabilities if I could steal some of them with Matthew. Matthew did get some speed, yeah, he has 13 speed now. Because I know you have to steal, well, you don't have to, but you you should steal some things in the boat map. You know the map with Toldam, the, the, oh no, Toldam in an Iron Man? Oh, fuck, I just thought about that. Okay, yeah, um, let me check. So pick units, I can bring everyone, so I will. Actually, I may not even try to bring, yeah, I'm not bringing Bartu. <laughs> well, no, I, I should bring him, just in case. Even if just to, to throw someone to the, to the enemy and use him as a bait or as a human shield. He actually works as a human shield. 4 defense and 29 HP. Now in the map I can change my formation. Now my... Oh, oh, oh okay. So Erk is going to appear from here. That means I should probably have Serra up there. Priscilla... If I remember correctly, you can recruit with anyone, so that's... That sounds like a job for Marcus. Um, yeah, that's a good position for you. Uh, oh, who are you? Okay, you're Bartra, yeah, I, I do want... Well, no, no, no. Actually, Dorcas is better in here, because he can probably kill the soldiers. I can take you to this side. Um, I think a Cavalier... Yeah, Cavalier is more useful to this side than Gi is more useful to that one. Alright. That looks good to me. So let's save. Just to... I don't know. In case the game crashes or something. Rector, shall I join you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you shall. Of course. Merlinus stand. Let's deploy Merlinus. I think we've been surrounded, but I'm not worried about it. I'm with you after all. We make quite a thing. Let's get a start. Yeah, and here is your BF. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, we'll see Carrot. Uh, you'll find the same answer. Tell your employer. Okay. So. We are, we are very safe at the start of this map, unlike in the FE6 variant where you get a lot of Cavaliers and Nomads from the start. This map allows you to do whatever the fuck you want. At the beginning, I can stand here with an Iron Sword. If I give you the option between attacking Marcus and someone else, you're probably going to choose someone else, so... Mm, that's the point, right? What? Up to Marcus? No. Here. Okay, here. Here is where I will place you. I will get you closer. I will... Yes! Okay. I think this is a nice thing to do with Dorcas. That's just some easy experience for him. And he is one of the better units to take care of soldiers uh, without any additional problem. Arthur can get in here. Uh, this is a safe spot for Rebecca to attack. She weakens the Laos guy and we go in there with Hollywood. Actually, do I want to go? No. I, I wanted to see if this was a safe spot, but um, no. Iron Sword. Okay. Easy. Another level for Elibuth. This time level 5. Yes, with more strength, more defense. Okay, okay. His, his base speed is very good, so... I'm, I'm actually really feeling good about 
Elevel Prep. Oh, bandits. And for a wraith. Oh yes, that's that's true. They they tend to pile on the arc side. Oh now now I'm fearing maybe Arc will go and and battle the the armor knight. Please don't. Please come to me, Arc. Okay, that's low and doing some damage. Taking no damage from the guy. Uh, Alright. I guess I should have given Marcus a, a javelin. He has to get rid of the archer for free. Oh, you did go for the archer. Why would you... Priscilla, has your escort returned yet? No. No, the escort is coming. Don't worry. Left yesterday in search of a way out of here. Yes, hope the soldiers of Laos haven't captured you. For help, I must have been fruitless. There's an order to not help you. Okay. Uh, yeah, the market is very bad. And consequently, we are very good. And... And... I don't know what else to say. If I went... Okay, so... You have 8 movement, right, Marcus? So even if I go here, your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 doesn't mean anything. So instead of that, why don't I get closer by 3 squares? Then I will be able to do 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Perfect. So Marcus killing this archer right now with the Iron Sword to be able to counterattack against the pirate is the optimal solution. Because it will get me to the village in just as much terms. As many terms? Probably, probably you, you say it that way. Uh, okay, Eric is safe. Now... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Now, I think you can go and talk to Serra by yourself, but if not, you will probably get closer and then we can heal with Serra. Whatever. Um, Erk? Will I use Erk? I don't know. He's a good candidate for, for usage. Um, because of, you know, being an early mage and all that. But I did use him uh, a lot last time. And that kind of makes me not want to use him this time. Okay, if I can... Well, you can reach both. If I can kill you... Yeah, okay. I will take this one. That's only 3 damage in exchange of... Well, I, I could probably leave the soldiers alone and they wouldn't be able to kill any of my units, but... Nice to take care of them in advance. Oh, I can double with you? Okay. Nice. And Iron Lands. I kill for Oswin, the, the mountain that walks. Mm. Easy kill? Easy kill. I'm trying really hard to pronounce it G and not Guy. Uh, I know that's the correct pronunciation and I mean of course it is, it yes. Makes sense. G is a name, you know, it's it's not one of those Fire Emblem strangely pronounced names that you actually have to think about, like uh, Kiel. Oh, I yeah, I put myself in range of the pirate, right? Well, that's Matthew, so. Okay. You probably will go for Matthew, which is unfortunate, but Matthew can probably two round you, so yeah, he can. Maybe 
training Matthew in this forest. Well, maybe not Matthew, maybe Guy is the, the better choice to train. Okay, no doubling. Their cavaliers are pretty good. Or maybe Lowen is pretty bad. Duck! Oh my gosh, it's Erk! Oh, fuck. Come with us, I beg your pardon, come on, I'll introduce you. No, 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 Sarah, no, no, please, Sarah, no! Conscripted. So. Okay, who do I want to battle this guy with? Probably Elibuth. So let's do it like this. Rescue. They can drop. And visit. Nice. Isn't this a sword? Like a... Yeah, a blade. I think it's an iron blade. Okay. I think we work through that pretty cool. Now Marcus. Um do I even battle you? I mean that's two javelin uses. Why? That's yes two javelin uses. It's not like Marcus has been seeing a lot of combat. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I can lure people with key, then that's additional goodies. The rain is getting closer. I can I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm no no Sakean, but I can feel the rain. Now, yes. Okay, so you have the same range. It's you that goes beyond this. So if I place... I'm going to place you here. Just in case I want to run. Yeah, do I take this skill with Hector? Okay, Iron Axe is enough. Because you got weakened. So Hector kill. You can get closer. Just in case. And yeah. Why did I move Bartra that strange amount of well whatever? Elibu takes another life. And maybe he will be able to kill the, the brigand. Because I think the brigand still goes to this. Oh no. Now that the village is gone, the brigand actually goes down. Maybe he's trying to destroy uh, Priscilla's village. But we'll get there with Marcus this. Oh no, your bones sake. Fuck. That's the sign of rain. Another messenger from the... Oh. Well, um, yeah, I think I will weaken you and then kill with Matthew if I don't crit. I don't. I say that, but yeah, because Matthew, these two guys are, are not that relevant as units, especially to kill um, Cavaliers. Okay, now rain is going to come after this turn. So I can get very close. Maybe lure someone here. Actually, I don't know. Mm. 
Can I? Oh, I can snag a kill with the hand axe. Nice. A speed. Eight speed on Dorcas. You see, this is... And I, I don't like knowing growths because, of course, uh, they, they they do make... They, they mess with your expectations, okay? But knowing growths, this is why bases can be relied more on. Of course, growths are more entertaining because with growths you can always get screwed and just have a good time because you're... I don't know. Uh, because your Hana still has base speed on, as a as a level 20 samurai or something like that. Which happened to a friend of mine and I was like, that can't happen because that's like a 60% growth. No, it can't happen. There's a 40% chance each, each level of not getting speed. That's just the way it is. Okay, I think I want to lure you. Yes, lure you. With the iron sword. To get Bartrick closer. Swain, I think it's okay to place him there. Um, Alright, so you. The Myrmid. I will actually... Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I will try this, just because... I know this is probably not the best use of it, but I've never used a mine, so this seems like a good idea. I I want to know exactly how it works. Like, does this mean he doesn't attack me now, or or what? Uh, yeah, and Rebecca I can get closer, I guess. And Marcus, oh no, Priscilla. Priscilla can go buy something actually. Yeah, she only has a man. So, this is the perfect place. Let's buy a hill. And honestly, why not buy a second hill? We are always going to need them. They're stronger than I had expected to the castle. All reinforcements are available. Okay, Darin is escaping. Okay, he doesn't attack. So if you... Okay. Next time I'm going to save that mine because it's, it's a much better item than I thought it was. You can lure the enemy and use a mine to stop. So if you can predict the point where the enemy is going to finish their movement, they are actually fucked. Very interesting. Okay, Marcus can go that way. And do I get closer? Like, is that a save? Yes. That's exactly safe. So let's get closer with you two. With you three, I mean. Um, now, the Laos Weekend guy and the Sword guys. Can I do this reliably? Not really. I can try. And if I hit this, then... Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, we will just take them on from here. It's not ideal because they are going to take uh, the forest tile. But what can you do? Oh, and server can actually move three squares, so... Oh, and you can't even go into the forest. Perfect. And one of you is going to go into the forest. Maybe Ark can kill you. You move. Okay, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, yeah. You move. You can't do anything either. Oh, I should have moved lower and then killed him with... With Priscilla, I should have seen that. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to take a lot of them on with the wolf bed. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, you you die with the wolf bed, you die with the wolf bed. Have a sword, 
but you have a land, so if you come, you have a bow. It's a bit unfortunate, but I think yeah, I can still do this. So nice, nice sneak kill by Lowen. Sneak kill TM. Oh, you went up. You're going for Elibu. I see you. Okay, I think that means we, we have to start going up because Elibut can't really hold against a Cavalier with a Silver Lens. Okay, as expected, you, you die. Oh, oh, I didn't notice the, the Pegasus. We are... I think Merlinus is, is dead. No matter what I do. Uh, okay, okay, understandable, understandable. I don't know if I want the rain to go away or to stay. If I could kill you now, that's a big help, yes. And now I'm going to lure you... Can I lure you? Yeah, so, Elibuth is now one square more afar than Oswin is. So you should go right instead of up. I'm, I'm hoping for that. Yeah. And yeah, that's going to do it. Marcus, Marcus, Lowen, Lowen, Barto doesn't really do anything, I'd like to finish the thing, I only have to defeat, oh I have to defeat enemies, so I have to defeat you, well then maybe Rebecca can actually do, do something useful for once. Uh, I'm almost. Yeah, I, I almost want to send Hector to the to the right side. Okay, no, 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 no. Iron Axe, yeah. Okay, Iron Axe is enough. Let's use Hector here. Let's kill the Nomad with Hector, and I'm going to try and kill the Pegasus with with Gi. Oh wow! All right. Uh, two movement, two movement. Okay, then there's no point in rescuing or doing strange things. <sighs> yeah, he did go to the to the right. Only one square. Oh no, he went two squares. That's the the limit of his range. If he w if he could go one closer, then he would be able to attack us. Very good level up. Incredible level up, I guess. Elibut is a growth unit. This rain, it will end shortly. <laughs> Fuck you, rain. So, Eric. 12. 11. Let's start with this five. Very good. And then 12 plus 11 is perfect to kill you. Can I get this kill with Dorcas? I can't. I can't, but I can... I can't. Rapier... No, Rapier is 13 and is... Pretty safe. If I do Dorcas first, okay. Okay, let's do it like that. It's a bit boring to get the kill with Elibut, but I guess Elibut is a good target. I also dodged that, which is good. Anyway, I could protect. Like this guy only has three movement right now, so two actually. So if I could put Elibut here, he wouldn't be able to attack. Um, 
yeah, have to use the rapier, that's 79%. Uh, well, if I miss, I'm, I'm actually dead. So I didn't think about that. This is an Iron Man, I shouldn't be taking uh, risks like this. Well, one of these days it's going to... Okay, I, I shouldn't have done that. In hindsight, you know what they say, hindsight is it's always 2020. But yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. And Hector has to take the throne. Oh no, there's no fucking okay, throne. Fuck. There's no throne, there's no throne. That's just me hallucinating. Okay. Now you go for Eric, yes, of course you do. But Eric survives and kills you, yeah, as expected. Level up for Eric. Level 5. I guess I didn't give him... He did He did get a good level up right now. Merlinus is completely dead. What's your movement? Okay, yeah. I can rescue and I can... I'm still outside of range, yeah. And I can... Take and I can drop. And I can maybe get a little bit closer, but not so close that I get attacked. Maybe move these people around too. I don't know, are Lowen and Marcus even able to do anything right now? Yeah, I think the rest of my units, yes. There, there's a weapon shop, there's a magic shop, whatever I have. I could get some fire, Tom, because you only have a a thunder tomb. So I can get a fire tomb. And I can sell... Oh no, who has the... Who has the... I know I have a gem. Have a goddess icon on you? Really? Okay. Uh, I have a silver lance right now on you. So I have the silver lance, the iron blade. Okay, those are the things that are out of place. First of all, the Iron Blade. The Iron Blade is probably a good item for Marcus to have. Because Marcus, Marcus has good enough speed that he doubles reliably with anything. The other candidate could be Eliwood. Yeah, Eliwood could use a, a stronger weapon. He would get, like, he has 7 constitution, right? Let, let me check this just in a moment. Yes, he gets weight down by 5, so he has 3 effective speed when using it. While Marcus gets weight down by 1, so he has 10 effective speed. Yeah, I think Marcus makes a better use. And the silver lands, I just... I think Marcus is the only one that can use it. So, all in all, everything is for Marcus to take. Okay, yeah, Merlinus is dead. That does it. One map less to get Merlinus to promotion. Um. Okay, yeah, trade me the Silver Lance. A bit ridiculous to carry two silver... Actually, actually, actually. Let's get a silver lance on you. Oh, you can't use it. Do you have C? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is silver lance A? It is A rank. Well... Okay, that was stupid. But... I mean, you can carry it. It's not like Marcus is going to use both. And 
Yeah, you can grief the thing. The goddess icon. Oh, no, not the goddess icon. The iron blade. And about the goddess icon, actually. Who needs slack? Uh, Priscilla is pretty okay. Hector would actually appreciate some luck. Um, who else? Lowen could use luck. Oswin could really use luck. Yeah, I'm thinking either Hector, but honestly, Hector doesn't face a lot of critical. At least already level 10 and he has 4 luck. Then there's Lowen, who just doesn't really have anything incredible in any of the stats, and Oswin, Oswin is actually really hurting from luck. But he also doesn't take that, so whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it to Lowen. And I'm going to use the goddess icon. Okay. Nice. Now, your range. Your range. Yeah, so you reach there, you reach there. So if I place you here with the killing it, yes for the for the other PM. Can I heal you? No. Everyone is full health. I'm actually going to get you away from there. I'm going to get you here to help. And Sarah is already. Perfect. Now, can you die easily? Or do I have to use weird things? Okay, you have a, st a slim lance, so it's harder to kill you. You have a slim lance too. But I get a critical against you. Very nice, very nice. Uh, that's that's a nice level. Okay, some healing. No, actually, uh, just a heal is enough. Um. Oh, the speed I gained with the level up is enough for me to kill now. If I could weaken... Oh, you don't... <laughs> okay, Rebecca, perfect. I knew I could count on you not to kill. And then I just finished the job with the Iron Sword and... Yeah, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, amigos. Come on, Eric, get up, you peasants! Why, why do you say you peasants? It, they, they are not peasants. They are lords. What do you mean, peasants? Okay. Interesting, compelling story. Makes me want to cry. I, th I actually think Eric is a very interesting character. He already felt pretty interesting in FE6. This background does make him more or less... More or less... I don't know. More or less important in the, in the lore of Elite. Not the most relevant guy ever, but yeah. He'll listen to anything if he does. Okay. Wait, Telebooth. The Telebooth passed this way. He ran through the gate. Moment. Let us return to Ostia. The rumors I heard of that. So I cannot approve of helping Telebooth or Ferrari any longer. This is different. Let's think of Hostis well being. Marcus Ferrari was involved in a rebellion. Oswin, you fucking prick. Telling you that he's a man worthy of trust here at my service. So, fuck you. Return to Austria. 
I remarked about Marcus Perra with him proper. I was waiting. Oh, he bent his knee. Okay. Service to me, please accept my lance as your own. I return it with your blessing. I did service to Castellost. Now I have only offered my lance to Robert. Yet. And I wish to offer you that same service. Please grant me that honor. Father is alive and I, I think that previous scene is completely eliminated in Hollywood Motan. Hector just goes here. Okay. Of course. We will find them and we will prove everything. But that will be in some of the next uh, episode, some of the next chapter, some of the next part. It went well. Again. Why? This time probably because I was lucky. Um, I took a big risk with Eliguth. A risk you shouldn't really take with any unit. And especially not with a unit that can end your run. Because if Eliguth missed there, I, the run would be over. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. When I saw Eric moving to me, I should have retired with Eliwood and friends to the right already. Uh, also, we lost Merlinos on that map, so that's eh, that's a bit. Eh. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this part. This has been Pomo. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next part. Bye.